What's up everyone, Phil back again. Another video, I've noticed uh, my previous video did that uh, white 170. I noticed I went through my, going through my collection here in my building and there are several tractors I've never given the time to do a video on, so that's what I'm working through. So we'll be filtering in 116 scale with some 130 seconds and 164 still. This here is a Case Agar King 1175 and it is the Prestige Edition. I think there's a box somewhere in my basement. Actually, no. I think I bought this one without a box. I remember buying one without a box now. Pretty classic tractors. Anybody who knows me, these are my favorite series of tractors ever. The Agri King series from Case. Really awesome tractors. Really, I uh, love their flat, line, flat uh, designs with their straight lines on their hoods, on their grills, on their fenders, on their cabs. Very, very box style design from the 70s, but uh, that's what I grew up around. That's why I'm so fond of the uh, older releases like this, the older tractors from the 60s, 70s, 80s, even into the early 90s have such good memories with all those tractors and this is one of them for sure. The Case 1175 was produced by J.I. Case between 1971 through 1978. Previous tractor in this series would have been a 1070 I believe. The next tractor would have been a 1270. Doesn't say it on here but that's pretty sure that's what it is. Um, actually the 11, it's weird what it, how it shows it there. See that? So the 1175 I think was just a more horsepower at 1170. I think that's what I've heard. If not, somebody knows the exact story of the 1175, please just comment let me know because I think I've been told that the 1175 was just a souped up 1170. The next tractor in the next series would have been a 2290 case. J.I. Case Manufacturer, Racine, Wisconsin. Total built 8,372. There's a lot of those built. Original price $21,700 in 1978. PTO tested 121.9 horsepower. Drawbar tested 108.1 horsepower. There's a picture of one with a lever on it. And some kind of implement behind it, a disc maybe. Classic looking old tractors right here. Of course, I think this is Prestige. It's got the glassed in window. I remember buying it without a box, but I think it is the Prestige one. I think the Prestige 1175 had a glassed in cab. Look in there, it's pretty plain still, even for a Prestige, in my opinion. Tires all the way around the rubber. Nice wheels on the back and the front. I think the fronts are plastic and the rears have that metal cap. Classic looking Gagger King grill right there. Looks really good. That's my favorite grill head on look of them all. There's your muffler intake up here. And there are nice lights on the cab there. Steps. Entry to the cab. It's a very, very good looking tractor. Boy, these were my favorite. I always say that when I do videos on them. I can't help it. These were just always my favorite. So I was a little, little fella. They just always hit me the right way. All right, everyone. We'll do a quick little comparison to this fella. And let's uh, move on to that right now. All right, here's my case. Agri King 1175 alongside my customized Ford TW25. That blue beside that white looks pretty contrasting, don't it? 
All right, I'll move on to some uh, final thoughts here and let's uh, do that now. All right, everyone, I'm back. Erta 116 scale case 1175, and I do believe it is the Prestige Edition. This had to be one of the first Prestige line tractors because really it looks like a shelf model with glass in the cab to me, pretty much. It's classic case Agri King series, really, really awesome tractor. Really nicely done. I love these old tractors. All right, everyone, I'll uh, close out my video. I want to thank everyone that always tunes in. This is Phil, replicas of the past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.